Number 27, a certain airplane has a speed of 290 km per hour and is diving at an angle of 30 degrees below the horizontal when the pilot releases a radar decoy. The horizontal distance between the release point and the point where the decoy strikes the ground is the equals to 700 meters. Letter A, how long is the decoy in the air? Letter B, how high was the release point? So let's suppose this is where our decoy is released. Its initial speed makes 30 degrees with the horizontal. So this is 30 degrees. And let's first choose our axis over here. We are going to say that downwards is our positive y direction and to the right is our positive x direction. The initial speed of the decoy is equal to 290 km per hour, which is the same as 80.6 meters per second. We can decompose our speed, our initial speed, into one x component over here. This is our vox and a an y component, voy. Let's also say that this is our start starting point. So y o, uh, y o is equal to zero at th that point over there. And x o is equal to zero as well at the release point. So let's decompose our, our velocity over here. And then we can find that our initial velocity in the x direction is equal to v cosine of 30 degrees and we can find that v o y is equal to v sine of 30 degrees for letter a we want to find the how long the decoy stays in the air and, the, and we can use this equation over here x is equal to x o plus v o x t plus a x t squared over 2 the acceleration in the x direction is zero because in planet Earth, the acceleration is vertical, not horizontal. So we don't have acceleration in the x direction. The initial position, we said that it's zero. So we can simplify our equation by x equals to v o x t. We want to find t. So t is equal to x over v o x, which is equal to x over v cosine of 30 degrees and this is equal to 700 over 80.6 times the cosine of 30 degrees and this gives us roughly 10 seconds so this is the answer of letter a Letter B, how high was the release point? We can use the same equation as this one, but for the y coordinate. So y equals to y o plus v o y t plus a y t is squared over 2. We want to find the final y position. We said that the initial position is 0 in the y direction. So we want to find this one over here. We can cross this out. So y would be equal to v sine of 30 degrees times t plus 9.8 times t squared over 2. We just found that t is equal to 10 seconds. So this would be 80.6 times sine of 30 is 1 over 2 times 10 plus 9.8 times 10 squared over 2 and this will give us uh, 8, 897 meters so what we found here we said that this is 0 and we found that this position over here is 897 meters. So we can infer from this answer over here that the height 
with respect to the ground, supposing that you choose this axis over here, uh, upwards positive, the position over here would be 897 meters. But using this axis over here, we use the different axis, uh, but the distance between the release point and the ground is the same. That is the same answer, 897 meters. And this is the answer of the exercise.